Hey, what's up? It's like Wednesday today. Um, just busy on a afternoon run. It's windy as hell today, and it's been cold and unpleasant, which perfectly suits the studying mood that's going on in the household. My sister's busy writing her prelims, and I'm busy studying for Eng Week next week. So, not a super amount of fun, but it's going right. I. Uh, I finished summarizing digital systems and linear systems with stats and numerical methods to go. Interesting stuff. I'm wearing my sister's Apple Watch because it uh, needs to go out for a run and because she's sick at the moment. Really interesting. I really need to get a Fitbit or some kind of fitness tracker. It's so cool to see what your heart rate and that is while you're busy running. 120 beats per minute. 0 0.39 kilometers. Let's hit it. As you can probably tell, I'm tired of studying and I'm just now procrastinating. Ugh. Hey, what's up? It's Thursday afternoon now. On the way for a quick run to the gym and back. Just gotta get out of the house. Um, my head is full of stats of z-scores and uh, probabilities and something else, confidence intervals, distributions, all that good stuff. Um, I went and saw Ad Astra last night with my dad. Beautiful movie about space and science fiction and man's search for like meaning and the journey versus enjoying your life, getting too obsessed with work, your career, the absence of a father, the absence of God, Really good movie. I really enjoyed it. But uh off to the gym. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning now, back at Res, writing my 263 semester test 2 in like an hour's time. It's numerical methods. Feeling very confident for it. I've been doing lots of past papers and I actually uh, I really do feel like I have a decent understanding of the work. That's not to say that the test is not going to be ridiculously difficult and confusing and it's going to clap me anyway, but I mean, I'm feeling decent. Here's all my formulas. Trapezoidal, Simpson, Taylor, Euler, Improved Euler, Newton, Rapson and the quotient rule because I had trouble remembering it. Yeah, gonna be a good morning. And got just four semester tests this week and week. The hardest one is on Friday, linear systems, so hopefully I do alright. Hopefully the work ethic that I had yesterday at Rez just grafting the whole day um, continues for the rest of the week. But I mean, I guess we'll see. And I'll see you out on the roads. I uh, finally got a new pair of sunglasses for my birthday. They're uh, pretty dope. Can you see yourself? I can see you. What's up? It's uh, 13 minutes to 12 now. Uh, just finished studying for stats for the evening. Good stuff. Got my test tomorrow. You know, standard errors, proportions, inference for continuous variables, level of significance, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, point estimators, level of significance, all that good stuff. Um, really all over the place with regards to um, like what they're actually trying to teach us, but I mean, it's good stuff, I guess. Even I'm learning more and more as I go about the engineering degree that it's not like it's not even about the content that you learn, but it's also just kind of how how you learn it, and how your brain changes as you learn about different ways of seeing the world and different ways of modeling probability or modeling a problem or modeling things you see in the real world with maths and that. Um, like this morning with my numerical methods test, we it was all integration and that but um, estimations for integrals and estimations for difficult problems that you can't always find formulas for but using other methods 
to find answers and solutions, which is what I guess engineering is supposed to be all about, actually. Um, so quite interesting. Just one or two little notes about stats, and uh, time for bed. I have got two more tests after my one tomorrow, so not too bad. Some of my friends have had a far worse end week. But, um, yeah, looking forward to it being over. I'm so ready to doors. Oh, but I start off to brush my teeth. What a struggle. Uh. I'm back in the same spot. Studying digital systems now. State encoding, one hot encoding, registers, combinational logic, flip flops, metastable states, non exclusive transitions, and incomplete transitions. Not super difficult stuff, but the practical stuff that in the past papers looks quite difficult, and so, eh, we'll see. I got 70% for the first semester test, so I don't need um, that great to mark tomorrow to make, it, to make exam entrance and that, but exam entrance is not the goal. Passing well is the goal, and so, yeah, I'm so tired of studying. Look at me diagrams, that's a flip-flop, and that's a register, and that's a controller, and that's the small notation for a register. I hope this is interesting, it's interesting to me. That's apparently a cat. Um, yeah, all is well. I'm just so tired of studying. When will this week end? I was talking to my sister on the phone earlier, and uh, she's busy writing her prelims, which really sucks as well. She's about to finish them, thank goodness. But, yeah. I think it's finally getting to that point of the year, as it does every year, when you're like, why am I still in school? Why am I still studying? Um, you know, why am I still doing all of these things? Um, trying to learn and cram all of these things into my mind so that I can be graded by someone else's metrics and, you know, have my success measured by someone else's metrics. But then I was, yet again, yet again, the other day I was on LinkedIn and that, looking at future job prospects and that. And it's a tough world out there, and I'm sure anyone who uh, is watching this who actually has a job in that can attest to that the real world is a lot harder than university or school ever was. And so, obviously, while I'm in it now, it seems tough in that, but I'm sure it's only going to get tougher, especially when SARS comes searching and calling your way. But yeah, just got to be honest, this is what's happening right now. And yeah, I'm exhausted, but I'll carry on studying, I guess. And uh, I'm going to write my EOS Digital Systems Semester Test 2 now. I did really well. I did really well on the first test, I got like 70%. And so I don't need to do amazingly in this one. As you can see, I've been doing laundry, having it dry. Um, so yeah, should be okay, this test. Um, it's um, difficult stuff, flip-flops, registers, combinational logic and state registers, block diagrams, finite state machines and the diagrams and that, like, it's relatively simple and there's actually like a decent amount of method marks, but I mean, we'll see. Could actually be a quite hard test. Oh, could be an easy test. We will see. Um, then I got my last one tomorrow morning. Linear systems and then I'm free. Can't wait. Look at mine. It's my third one. This is my third one. This is my third student card. Why is it your third student card? I'm so bad at this. It's all scratched. Sexy as hell. How's your end week been, Mikey? Pretty good, man. That's good. And yours? Mikey. Yes. How was the test, Ryan? It was okay. Oh, wait, hold on. It's good? good. good. What is that? 30% of the paper. What's good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 30% of the paper like, didn't do? Yeah. 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 Right. Because our VHDL code, if it doesn't compile, you get zero for it. So 30% of the so paper, sad. zero. Before the test, Mikey yeah. made a joke about like, imagine the VHDL is 30% of the paper. So yeah, the test wasn't wonderful. It was just really long, especially the controller that we had to code inside of. The VHDL code was ginormous, and uh, even if you were coding at breakneck pace, it was unlikely that you were going to finish. Even Chris didn't get his to compile, and the rule is that if your code doesn't compile, um, you get zero marks. And so 12 marks out of 40, quite a substantial amount, it actually prevents you from getting a distinction, so people were complaining. But all good, I think I did alright to the rest of it, depending if I made a small error or a small misunderstanding with like the timing diagram or something. But uh, not bad. Had far worse tests and now 
just some studying for linear systems. <sighs> and those are all of my notes for ELI, linear systems. Wah! I'm about to head off now. Final test, and then I'm done. Then I'm going to the gym. I'm going to have a great Friday. I'm so glad that it's about to be over. And uh, yeah, that concludes my end week video. It was a good end week actually. As I've said several times this semester, the secret to winning at varsity is taking one less module than you're supposed to. Like this is one of the first end weeks where I actually felt really in control and really actually on top of my work because I had finished reading through all of the notes and summarizing before the week started and then was just doing tut problems and past paper problems during the week. Like linear systems was very hard but it, it went alright and I actually knew the problems in that and I learned them properly the day before. Digital systems as well, the practical side of things I really got nicely, um, especially drawing like my state diagrams and that, like knew that 100%. For stats I actually kind of knew what was going on. Um, there was a decent amount of guesswork involved, but I think I'll think I'll pass. And uh, for 263 maths as well, it went really well, because it's an easier maths module, but I learned nicely for it. And so, you know, um, not the hardest semester on my side, but with still some difficult modules in that, I've been doing really decently actually for a change. And as opposed to some of my past end week videos, um, like you can see, like I've actually been on kind of on top of things this week. So, interesting, and we'll see when the results come out, but yeah. Decent way to uh, end of the week. It's Saturday now, actually. Just been chilling. Been to the gym already. Did some shopping. Editing this video now. And uh, there is a massive, massive jaw planned tonight. So that's going to be good fun. But thank you for watching. And uh, see you later.